Hi there, I'm Shannon Gregory of Microcell Sciences, back better than ever since my last two videos. I see everybody loved the grounding uh, video that I did, um, so we thought we'd continue with that, um, and I've been given this amazing king-size grounding sheet. This is pretty cool, um, and I'm pretty excited to test this. So what we're gonna do is there's another staff member and I, Bessa, she's gonna be testing the grounding mat for the bed. Um, and we're gonna do this in a two to three week time period. We're gonna test what this looks like prior to sleeping on it for these three weeks. Now, this is pretty cool. This one here has a little tiny um, electrodes or or grounding through it so it gives you pretty consistent coverage so hopefully we'll see some really cool improvements with this um, and let's see what our blood looks like prior to um, sleeping on this so what I've done is I've taken two live blood cell samples. I'm gonna pull it up on the microscope. Now I had a lot of comments in regards to putting oil on the microscope. So what we have to do for this special kind of lens is we need to have immersion oil at the bottom of the dark field and this enables us to zoom in. Without that, I can't zoom in to the amazing images that we do get online. So here we go, I'm bringing this up I've dropped this slide on there I am now gonna take a little bit of oil I'm gonna drop it on top and here I am I'm gonna spin this around and this enables us to zoom in so here I go I'm bringing it up on screen so here I am here on screen um, and I am showing a little bit of what we call Rilo. What this is, is inflammation in the body where see how they're stuck on top of each other like hamburgers. What I'm also seeing is my cell structure could be a little thicker, um, which is definitely something we can work on. Here again is an area where we're seeing a lot of inflammation. Um, I've had a really sore back lately and neck, so I'm wondering if this is related to that. Hopefully sleeping on the grounding mat will help with that. What we're seeing here is a little bit of protein. This is because we're exposed every day to different types of pathogens. And what we're seeing here is an immune cell to the right hand side. Um, this is a specific immune cell that does help with cleaning the environment out. Now, one of the reasons we are seeing food in the blood is because we all have a form of, or a lot of us have a form of leaky gut. And this is food leaking out of the gut um, and uh, into the bloodstream. We do require really good probiotics to help with this. So this is the grounding mat from Gaia. It is a king size. It's waterproof, portable, non-slip. It includes a 15 foot grounding cord. And it's in a package like this. So this is what's inside the box. We get a 15 foot grounding cord here. This is the grounding mat itself. And then these are the instructions. Super, super easy to follow. So very excited to get started. What I love most about live blood analysis is showing the before and after of my blood when I've introduced a new therapy, made a new lifestyle change, or tried a new supplement. Something I will be experimenting with in the next couple of weeks is grounding. So I have a grounding mat here from Gaia. I will be using this nightly and I will be tracking the progress of my blood so you guys can see the before and after of using grounding and incorporating that into your lifestyle. As the winter months are here, it's really hard to connect with nature and I struggle with that personally. So I'm really excited to be introducing this at night and hopefully it'll help me relax and you know, we'll see positive changes in my blood. So this is day one, um, not seeing much movement in the cells. We really wanna see them moving through the plasma. So it'd be interesting to see after grounding um, how that's gonna improve. So far they're kind of just at a standstill here. So I'm noticing a stacking pattern here called Rouleau. Ideally, we want the red blood cells all spread out. You know, ideally like that. It'd be interesting to see, you know, after grounding how this changes. And there's also not much movement. So I'd like to see a bit more movement through the plasma. So this is day one, no grounding as of yet. 
So um, aside from the cells, I have noticed that my immune function is working really well. Here's an active neutrophil working on this cell. This is immune live in action, which I love to see. So one week into using the grounding mat, I'm still seeing really good movement. I'm also seeing a lot less stress in my blood and I'm not seeing any inflammation, which is what I was specifically looking out for. As I'm going through here, I'm still seeing like unicellular shapes, thick cell walls. Overall, I'm really, really happy with the findings. I'm going to continue using it just to track how the cells are looking throughout the month and I'll update and maybe do some other experiments with some other forms of relaxation. So my only critique would be for the mat itself. Um, it seems to be like a plastic material. I am very particular about what I sleep on. So I would just ask that maybe we switch this to an organic cotton as I've seen other grounding mats available in that material. Um, I do like the strap option to strap on the mattress. I do like that feature. However, even this type of plasticky material does carry an odor. So that would be the only downfall I would say uh, after sleeping on this. I know many of you are going to ask, uh, what is the product line that I am testing? Because we are starting to see after two weeks, some pretty good results with these grounding sheets. Um, we have wonderfully been given sheets by a company called Gaia, um, and I will link it below. They do have an Amazon um, link. They do also have social media that you can take a look at, but that's the product we and I am testing in regards to the sheets. What I've actually done with the sheets is originally I put the sheets on the top of my sheet, um, but because it doesn't hook around, it was moving around too much. So I had emailed the owner how I need to uh, have the sheet put. Um, and they did notify me that it should go on top, but it can go on the bottom as well. So I have put it underneath my sheet, which is way, way easier. And they, the actual bed sheet holds it there. I'm still seeing with that cloth barrier, some pretty good changes um, from the way I looked two weeks ago. Okay, so I'm a little over a two weeks of using the grounding sheet. Um, so I wanted to do a check-in on how we are looking. Uh, so let's take a look at the live blood sample and if we're seeing any differences, hopefully a little less Rouleau, maybe our immune system being a little bit more active. Uh, let's take a look at what that's going to look like on screen. So here we have an amazing sample to take a look at. We're of course going to put our oil on there to allow us to zoom in. And here I go. I'm going to zoom in. So here is our initial sample. Pleasantly, and I'm very happy to be seeing these cells moving so well on the screen, uh, which is a lot better than what we saw the previous time. I'm gonna kind of move around here. Again, we're seeing some great movement happening, which does indicate my liver has been detoxed quite well. The cells look to be happily quite thick and I'm quite happy with the absorption. And I'm not seeing any B12 deficiencies or anything along that line. So let's keep looking around. It's nice also to not see all that linkage. We've got a little bit of linkage right there. And some of these oval cells that are passing through does have a form of hormones in it. Now, one thing I'm not noticing a lot of, which has definitely been a theme with me, is a lower immune system. I should be seeing a lot more white blood cells throughout this sample than what we're seeing. So let's take a look at what this is gonna look like in a couple weeks from now. So overall, this is a wonderful change from the original uh, video I did. I'm hoping after using this a month, we're seeing it stay consistently moving, which would be great. I'm happy with my cell structure, that looks great. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so this is amazing to see this moving like a raging river. That's what I wanna be seeing from the live blood sample. 
Um, I am showing a little bit of inflammation that I can see with some of the clumpiness moving by, but this is spectacular to see all of the red blood cells moving like this. It does show that, in my opinion, grounding does uh, work very nicely at uh, supporting the blood. This is the corner of the slide where, uh, see how it slows down? That's very normal for that to happen. Some of these ones here that are spiky are ones that do have parasites inside. Um, and those ones there, we can always do tr parasitic treatments. Again, we're seeing really good movement. Over here, I'm gonna raise my light up. Here's an immune cell, that's a neutrophil. And up here, this is a little bit of protein not digesting as well as it should. It's nice to see this continually staying moving. As in our other grounding videos, it did slow down quite quickly upon not using it on a daily standpoint. I'm quite pleased overall with the thickness of the cells and that I'm not seeing an extreme amount of inflammation. Nevertheless, you know, seeing any lymphatic crystals or thyroid crystals as well. So in conclusion of grounding sheet, I have found me personally, um, I have noticed that I am sleeping a little deeper. Um, I haven't noticed anything energy wise during the day, but one thing um, that happened with my husband is he normally is waking up at five in the morning. He, and we noticed through his Apple watch that he is getting a little bit more of a deeper sleep. Some of the pros and cons of having the grounding sheet, I am noticing that if the sheet doesn't hook around your bed, it does move. Um, and I mentioned this earlier in the video where, you know, I've put it under the sheet to prevent it moving, but we're still seeing with it under the sheet pretty uh, good changes in the blood. Um, another thing that I did notice is there is other companies out there that do have the sheet that goes around, um, but they're considerably more expensive than the one I did test. Um, and I will link below the one that I did test as the last grounding video, I had so many of you guys asking me where I got the sheet from. This overall, I'm quite happy. I'm gonna continue using the grounding sheet um, on my bed because I did like it that much. Um, and hopefully you'll see what Bessa has done with the grounding mat upon sleeping, a very large king size mat she was using. Um, and those also, uh, the results to that also came up very positive. So a lot of you people that are questioning if grounding works, we took two different people two different types of mats and two different time frames to show you um, the research behind that um, and that you know it's not me pressing on a slide it's not me doing things to the sample or not putting oil on I really wanted to show you scientifically so hopefully this has really helped everybody uh, make choices to proper purchasing um, and you know like subscribe comment um, I'd love to hear from you and see what you think about my videos.